Hey guys, this is uh, Gentleman Dan again, uh, doing another uh, video helper guide. Uh, real quick today, I'm going to talk about uh, control rods. Um, a lot of people use a lot of different things to uh, to set up a control rod. Um, and what this is is uh, th what I like to use. A lot of people like the carbon rod uh, idea, but I like to use the standard uh, 12 inch uh, 256 rod that you can buy from pretty much anywhere, any hobby store, Tower Hobbies, Grayson, and all that. Um, basically what it has, it has one threaded end on it, and then the other end is just standard wire. Um, what I found is that any time in the past I tried to do what's called the Z-Bend, which is just the end of the wire is bent one way, and then it's bent the opposite way to go through uh, a servo horn, I found that it's actually uh, something that either comes out sloppy or looks terrible or or whatever else. So something I read in uh, in uh, RC Flyer or, or one of the other magazines uh, when I first got into doing the park jets uh, was something called the snake bend. And the snake bend is real simple. It's basically the same thing. It's a Z bend, but instead of going just a 90 degree turn of the first one, you're going 90 degrees in the opposite direction. And I got my MiG-29 here with my guide again. And how you can see it is that the actual bend comes straight. It goes this way and then up. Most Z bends would come in and then go this way and then go that way. And uh, I don't really like that too much. So what I did is I uh, I use this uh, this snake bend system. And what it does is it gives a pretty good flat surface here for the servo arm to hold on to and uh, and give a really good movement on the servo and allow it to to move pretty precisely. And uh, basically, as you can see on my MIG, all I did was take uh, a full threaded rod and I just made it the full length and it gave me a real good CG and on this plane it worked really well so what I'm going to do real quick is just show you how to make a snake bend and uh, and see if this uh, this makes sense to people um, put the camera down here very simply all you're doing is you're taking a, uh, a needle nose pliers and your control rod you're going to put the little bit of, of control rod into the, the needle nose and then you're going to bend 90 degrees and that's your first bend and however much you want to do that, I'm going to do this big and, and ugly but there's your first bend. Now most people would then take this and bend it the same way opposite so it just goes out in a Z. The difference for a snake bend is that when this is set up straight is you're then going to take the snake bend and you're going to put that in the flat part of the jaws of the of the needle nose and the idea being is that you're then going to do a 90 degree bend that is in a, uh, a side version of that so I let go of it here but bend it again that way and this is what you end up with now it's kind of ugly but the idea being is that you have this what I call what, what they're calling a snake bend so if you're looking at the rod going away from you you have a pretty good surface right here for the servo to push on forward and back and it gives you a little bit of, of uh, what I actually think is a little bit of movement so if you hit your control surface or something like that it actually gives you a little bit of uh, uh, a little bit of deflection to uh, to keep it from you know breaking your servo all the park jets I've built um, I've never broken a servo yet I've never stripped out a set of gears I think this bend is kind of kind of helped that so Instead of a normal um, Z-Bend, this is called a Snake Bend, and as you saw in the MIG, uh, when you do it close and do it right, you can then trim it off. You can take a cutters or something and trim off this end and, and bring it down and make it a little shorter, a little tighter. But if you do this right, uh, it gets real tight, and uh, it looks really good, and it's worked very well for me so far. So uh, if you're wondering how to set up a control rod, if you do it this way, you can bend it 90 degrees this way, and it'll stick out. Or you can do it 90 degrees the other way and just bend it the other way and it'll stick the other way. And I, I match them so that one side is going one way and one side is the other. And that seems to set up the controls real well. So uh, that's a snake bend. Uh, I think it's real easy to do. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. And uh, that's how I set up all my plants. So hope this helps. See ya.